The Lord will fight for you while you keep silent. So right there, all the enemies come and everything. The Lord will fight while you keep silent. That also means hold your peace. When you hold your peace, the Lord fights. You know, if I attack my own battle, the Lord has his hands behind his back tied up. He's going, I want to fight. I'm like, Lord, why ain't you fighting? Why ain't you fighting? I just keep spitting it out and I'm using my battle. He goes, I'm trying to, but you're taking my place. As soon as I go, I'm not doing this. And I walk out of the way, I say, Lord, that's your job. He goes, I was wondering when you'd say that. Steps right into position and begins to fight. You know, he's a fighter. You know, his record is perfect. Our record is it? <laughs> his record is perfect. You know, a lot of times, some people say, well, I just had to say that. I had to correct. I had to justify that. Or I didn't want to be humiliated. Man, it's, it's better to be humiliated and be with the Lord than to not, you know? When that happens, God changes everything. You find out one day that person, boom, straight down, and they're looking for you to help. And you're over here going, I'll help. And they're like, why are you this nice to me? Look what I did. To you. you see what I'm saying? That's who the Lord is. He always remembers. Even with Abraham, when he got, you know, when uh, that Pharaoh, the one that king, took his wife, and the Lord visited and said, don't be doing this. He's a prophet. Give back his wife. Or you and the household will die. That's what the Lord said to him. And he went on to say, oh, it's because of the integrity. You know, you're really going to do that? I didn't do it. I didn't sin. He said, yeah, the integrity in your heart. And I kept you from doing it. You see? So the guy was trying to say, it's all me. And he's like, no, I kept you from doing that for your own safety because you had a pure motive. That's why the Lord goes and he builds pure motives in us because then he can keep us from doing things a lot more. Yeah. If we don't have a pure motive, it's harder to keep us from doing. But the more we grow closer to the Lord, he purifies us. So then when I, I can't do this, God, he says, here I am. You see what I'm saying? And that's purifying the heart. He purifies our motives that way. Hallelujah. It's usually through the fury, trials, <laughs> and temptations, you know.